what's up folks so we're back we're gonna start putting this sucker together and the first thing we're gonna start with is the wasteboard platform uh, for this uh, for the Queen Bee Pro um, this is the only part that looks is gonna like it's gonna be a little bit different between the work beat upgrade and the Queen Bee Pro kit I guess some of the extrusions are a little bit different for the Queen Bee Pro um, I don't know that for sure but the build and everything should be somewhat similar and pretty easy to uh, put together if your kit is not exactly like this one. We'll find out what those differences are, if any, once we get this thing going. Okay, so the first thing that we need to start with is we need to start with these rails to get this um, to get this uh, wasteboard platform done now with uh, with the kit it's gonna come with two uh, additional 20 by 40s here so you're gonna end up in the end with this work bee kit and this upgrade kit for the Queen Bee we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these 20 by 40s. Now three of these are gonna be running alongside with your C beams, your uh, X axis is gonna have one of these beams on the back, and then your both of your Y axis is are gonna have the 20 by 40 inside and fill in this gap right here. So the very first thing you need to do here is you need to identify your three beams or your three 20 by 40s that are the exact same size as your C beams here. See that one is about that's about five millimeters shorter. So that one is gonna be for one of the side rails. That one's a little shorter. That's gonna be one of the long side rails for the waste board. That one's the same size. So that's gonna be for a C-beam. And this third one. So this three is three are gonna be used for the C-beams, to accompany the C-beams. Just like that one kind of fits right in there. Just like that. Put that to the side. These four 20 by 80s. And these Four, 20 by 40s. This is what we're gonna work with for our waste. Board. And this is what we're working on here is these side rails right here. So these side rails here are gonna be these two longer ones that you had left over. Depending on what your kit is, it's gonna depend on what size these are. And then your two shorter ones right here are gonna be your support that's gonna go underneath. So that's where we're gonna start at. These are gonna get the end caps and the M5, uh, what do they call these things? T-nuts, and that's what's gonna go inside these. There's gonna be eight for each side because they're gonna be two, four, six, eight. There's gonna be two on each one of these, and that's what's gonna
should have something that kind of looks like this. Um, on this, the only thing I changed on these bars is I have two clips on this side and then there's two clips on this side on the bottom. So it keeps it from not going any, any tweaking like that in that direction. But this is uh, the completed project. Make sure that you've gotten everything square and level. This is all flush. You got it in its final location. You can see how it's going to sit. It's a lot more low profile the way this is set up. So you got multiple points here where you can, uh, where you're able to level it out and get it set up to where it's working the best in your situation. The big one is uh, whenever you're doing the brackets, make sure that you got it flush right here on all these, all these junctions. Cause your, your waste board obviously is going to sit right here on top. So you want this to be flush and flat. Make sure there's no gaps in between your railings like right here. Make sure that's all tight and they're all next to each other. This is a lot lighter weight than the old frame setup was. I like this a lot better. You only, you only got the, uh, the 40 mil height, which is nice. And hopefully this is all, uh, this will all be more open for some more uh, Z access. So that was it for this one, guys. I guess the most important part is to just pay attention to those different length excursions. Make sure you're using the right ones for the right spot. Hopefully uh, I showed you in detail to enough of that to where that shouldn't be a problem for you. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.